Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and this is how to use Beautifly and Dustox. Decided to just do two Pokemon today, so I hope you guys really enjoy that. And first off, let's go and look at Beautifly's stats. Uh, the stat distribution on Beautifly is not the best. That we're really only looking at that 100 special attack, and then we don't have a lot else going for it. But Beautifly can be surprisingly strong. That it actually compares to a lot of other Quiver Dance Pokemon, which means that it actually is one of the strongest of the Quiver Dancers. Which ends up being pretty awesome, so we'll look at that later, and then now we can look at Dustox's stats real quick. And Dustox, very unimpressive stats, unfortunately. However, Dustox can be a very surprising Pokemon that even though when you look at it, you have almost nothing in the stat department. Your highest base stat is 90, and special defense, so it's not even something we're going to use that commonly. So, we're going to see how Dustox ends up playing out, and it's very surprising, so... These two Pokemon, I wasn't really excited when I saw this strategy coming up. I'm like, I don't want to do Beautifly and Dustox. There's going to be nothing there. But actually, both of them can carry a lot of power. So let's go and look at the bl Bug Flying is going to be Beautifly first. And really, since Beautifly is just going to go for Quiver Dance Sweeping, it's really not anything you have to care about defensively. It's more of an offensive thing. That when you look at it, don't throw a ground type or ground attack at it. It's a flying type Pokemon. Just try to do what scares off Bug and Flying, like Rock, Fire, Electric, Ice, and Flying. And then don't hit it with fighting. Like, fighting and grass are bad. Don't don't use the, that against Beautifly. It won't work out at all. After that, we have Bug Poison typing on Dustox. It's actually a little more interesting that, you know, we're actually trading around some things here. That with the Poison typing, you gain that Psychic Weakness while trading off that Weakness in Ground because you're a Bug type. You still have to worry about Flying, Rock, and Fire, though. But overall, it's not, like, the worst typing. Still a couple of common threats, but you do get some good defenses out of it. So, hopping into Pokemon Showdown... We're actually going to see how to use Beautifly first, and it's, like I said, it's just going to be that quiver dancing kind of Pokemon. Go with the timid nature, that way you get the most out of your speed, and then just hope that your opponent isn't faster. Use Focus Sash, that way you have a very high chance of setting up your quiver dance, and just try to overrun your opponent. Now, Beautifly is actually pretty cool, because it gets the Swarm ability. It has a 30 or it's less max hit points, bug attacks do 50% more damage, which means that this Bug Buzz is going to hurt. Bug Buzz into Stab, into this high special attack, and then Swarm getting on top of that is going to be pretty good. Now, this is what I mean when we compare it to the other Pokemon. Butterfree. People use Butterfree as a Quiver Dancer all the time, and it only has 70 base speed. So we're kind of doing the same idea here with Beautifly. That's going to be slightly slower. Some Pokemon might outspeed you, a lot of Scarfs, a lot of Megas. But overall, you're going to be able to handle most of the crowd, which is pretty good. And then when we look at Venomoth, you also have that 90 speed, but 90 special attack. So Beautifly is going to be the strongest of these three. And some of these Pokemon still get play, and some of these Pokemon are regarded as very strong. So I was actually surprised by the Beautifly on this one. You also get Energy Ball for a good amount of coverage, and Psychic. So you're going to be hit, able to hit hard, and you're going to hit a wide amount of Pokemon. Now instead of Energy Ball, I was also thinking Giga Drain. If you find a super effective hit on that, on that Giga Drain, You'll be able to get a good amount of health back. If they bring in a special attacker, you'll already have boosted special defense from the Quiver Dance, which means you might be able to get off a second Quiver Dance, depending on how they're setting up. So, sacrificing overall power, but you're getting that sustained potential back, and if it's worth the risk to you, go for it. Now, next we have Dustox, and Dustox surprised me on this one. Like, I didn't know that Dustox actually had a lot of potential. I was like, this Pokemon actually has less base stats than Beautifly, so it just feels unloved, forgotten, whatever, but it gets Iron Defense that if you move Tutor Cascoon, it gets Iron Defense. Now, this is very rare. I don't think there's many Pokemon that actually get the move Tutor that its evolutionary form can't get, so we already have an Iron Defense in our favor. Quiver Dance, it boosts Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed, which is why it's so strong, and which is why so few Pokemon have it. That generally, weaker Pokemon are the ones that can handle this power and not run away with it too much without being Volcarona. So... Again, the idea is get the Timid, go for hit point investment on this. That way, now you're going to have a lot of outspeed. You can even, like, try to um, just make it to where you have a good amount of speed overall. You don't have to worry about outspeeding everything. I'm just kind of crazy. I don't want to worry about much, but if you take away, you can put some extra points in, like, defenses and stuff. That way, the boosts are at least going around. So the way I see it, Quiver Dance. You're going to take a decent hit, but with that hit point bulk, you should survive, which is why I like Leftovers or Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry is going to give you some burst health back, and that could be very nice. So when we're looking at it like that, now you're going to outspeed your opponent, you already have that plus one defense, so or the Quiver Dance. That way you can use Iron Defense or Quiver Dance next turn, now you're going to be at plus two defense or plus two special defense, which means you're taking less damage, which means now you can set up for the Moonlight. Keep using Quiver Dance, go into a strong Bug Buzz, and you're good to go from there, that you can really outpace your opponent. 
Also, since you're a poison type, you don't have to worry about getting toxic, which is really good. Also, people might actually whiff an attack. They might not think you're toxic. Or your poison type, they'll throw a toxic, It will. you'll be immune to it, and then that way you get a free turn. I've seen that happen before. So with Iron Defense, you're going to be able to get really strong defensively, Quiver Dance, Special Defense, and then just play it out from there. You can also go for Giga Drain as well. It's really a tough call. You only get 8 Moonlight, that if you PP Max it, you don't get a lot of Moonlight opportunity. With Citrus Berry, your overall sustain is very not there. So Giga Drain is kind of like giving you that extra eighth, that extra tenth of your health every turn. Just because you'll use it, you'll wear down your opponent, and it just, just has a good amount of strength. Or you just go for the bigger, stronger, more stab move that once you set up three, four Quiver Dances, now you can really make your opponent feel it. Also, I did have Leftovers heal here before. Leftovers is for the early risk, longer sustain. Citrus Berry is for less risk in the early, but less sustain over the long run. And it's just kind of how which one you feel more comfortable about. Do you want to endure that first potential big hit? Or do you want to take that risk and let the leftovers make you very healthy for a very long amount of time? And that's how you do it. Dustox is going to be just a mixed tank Pokemon. You set up your special defense when you need to, set up defense when you do, and you're actually very speedy while doing it because of the Quiver Dance. So this actually works out pretty well. Beautifly, if it just becomes a stronger hitting, slightly slower Butterfree and Venomoth with that Quiver Dance, which is still very strong because you get a good amount of coverage. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's how you use Beautifly and Dustox.